Hello and welcome back to our channel. As you can see, I'm standing in Baby Boy's nursery. This video is gonna be all about his nursery reveal. So I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet, not too long, but I just wanna kind of show you what we did in his nursery so far. Um, it's pretty much done. I'm 35 weeks and four days, and I'm probably gonna be out of breath multiple times in this video, but yeah, so feeling good, feeling pretty prepared. We rent right now, so we aren't really able to put a lot of things into the walls, paint the walls, stuff like that. Um, so kind of just making the most of what we have here. Luckily, the walls in this room were like a pale blue, so it kind of worked out perfect for him. Let's just, let's dive right in. Before going into his room, Outside of the room right now, we have our hospital bags, which I just packed last week. And I wanted to show you the boppy pillow. We got the bare naked boppy pillow, and then I got this waffle knit cover off of Etsy, and I love it so much. So this stuff needs to go downstairs and just sit by the door, but this is where it is for now. Both of the hospital bags I got off of Amazon, and I really like them, and we'll be able to use them again for like weekend trips and stuff like that. But Let's go inside. So this is kind of the view that you have when you walk in his room. His crib is off to the left side, dresser is on the right, and then his chair is kind of like right back in the corner. This is the crib that we went with. It's from West Elm, West Elm Kids, I believe, but um, I loved the color of it. When I saw it, I was obsessed. And actually what I love the most about it, if you can see the back piece is flat, so not all around all the sides has these bars on it. It's flat in the back because this is actually a four-in-one convertible crib, which is really awesome. We were kind of thinking about the future and he'll be able to use this. It kind of um, converts into like a twin bed and then even like a full-size bed. So that's really nice. You just have to buy like the pieces to convert it when you are ready. This is kind of what it looks like up close. It is actually like a wooden material. Now, I won't have the snuggle me in here. I just have it in here for now. Um, but I'll probably have that downstairs or something. We have his little baby monitor hooked on right here. This is the one we got it's just from Amazon, but I know it has really good reviews. You can also get it at Bye Bye Baby and use a coupon for a discount. I got these digital download prints from Etsy. I loved them. I thought they were so cute. And then I just got the frames from Target. I got them in size 20 by 24. So I think it's a good size above his crib. And then this little mobile I am obsessed with. It's from the brand called Pear. It's all handmade and the little sheeps are so cute. And then I just attached it to this um, mobile attachment, which we got off of Pottery Barn instead of hanging it from the ceiling, again, just because we are renters. But I think that baby will kind of just sleep on our Newton mattress. I don't think I'm gonna put a crib sheet down in the beginning because this mattress is super breathable and I just like the way it looks white, honestly. Now in this corner, actually I think the bookshelves might be one of my favorite parts of his room. These are acrylic bookshelves that we got off of Amazon and they are such good quality, like I am shocked. And then most of the books are from Amazon as well. Some of them were gifted to us for our baby shower. So I have them right next to his crib for easy access and I think they just look good on this little wall. Um, I will say that the bookshelves came with four shelves. We're only using two right now. Um, the other two are just in storage in his closet. This is what they look like up close. Super cute. I just picked some of my favorite books to put up here. We have some more in his closet right now. But then right down here, I have one of these little wooden play gyms. Down here, I just have one of these little baskets. I got this one from Target and some stuffed animals in it. I love this little guy, he's from Pottery Barn. And our little Loki the lion. A bunch of other ones down here. Back behind here, you can see that's our little baby monitor. I just have it sitting on the window right now. Um, but we have it all hooked up and ready to go. And then we have our little side table right here. I just got this from Amazon and it was super easy to put together. 
This is another digital download print from Etsy. I love getting digital download prints off of Etsy and then I just got the frame from Amazon. This little toy is from the brand called Mushy. They have really cute stuff. And then behind is a little lamp that we got from West Elm. I think it's super cute. It comes in different colors and it looks really pretty when the light is on. That's what the lamp looks like on and it'll be nice to have this little guy next to his chair when it gets dark out. This is our rocking chair. It's like a rocker slash glider slash swivel chair. Um, we got it from Crate and Barrel. It was actually gifted to us from Sam's parents and we love it so much. It came with this little pillow and everything, but sometimes I just come in here and sit in the chair, recline it, put my feet up and hang out on my computer because it's actually really comfortable. Um, we also really like it because it has a high back. So for someone who's taller, like Sam is six foot, people really like this chair because it has that high back on it. This is kind of what the chair looks like with better lighting. I've been sitting in here. You can tell the pillow is kind of like wrinkly, but that's all good. It's being lived in. On the side here, this is how you recline it. This goes back. This will bring it forward, and then this is for a USB, which I have a charger in his dresser um, in case I need to charge my phone or something whenever I am in here. I think that's a really nice feature. But behind his chair, we have this awesome moonlight. It's made out of paper mache. We got it from Pottery Barn. When we saw it in the store, I was obsessed. I was like, that is so cool. So I'm super glad that we were able to get it and we kind of just put it above his chair I think it's so cute. And I feel like this is something he'll like be able to have in his room for a while and just remember having it in his room because it's so unique. Moving on to his dresser area, in this little corner we put the Ubby Steel Diaper Pail. We just put it right in that little spot next to the dresser, kind of like out of sight next to the chair. We have our little hatch sound machine, which I just kind of set up last week and it's really awesome. People have highly recommended this to me, so I'm glad that we got it. Behind right here, this is not gonna stay here. This is just one of his little diaper caddies that I'll probably bring into our bedroom once he's born, just for easy access. I got this one off of Amazon. In it, I just put some diapers wipes, hand sanitizer, a little lovey, have some binkies in here, and um, diaper rash cream, a little toy. I don't think I need much in here in the beginning, but um, this is a really good sized caddy as well, and it also comes in gray. So that was a good purchase off of Amazon. Moving over, on our dresser right now, we have the Bumbo Changing Pad, which I originally wanted the Kikaroo, if you know, you know, they are always out of stock and it's a lot more expensive than the Bumbo. So we put this one on our registry and my brother and his wife actually gifted it to us. So we were super happy about that. It's really good for easy cleaning, which is why I have it out here right now. The original changing pad that goes on this dresser is in his closet. So we will use that eventually, but in the beginning, It'll be nice to have this one. And then above his dresser, we have a little Target mirror. I love this one. I feel like so many people have this one from Target. I like that when he's a little older, he'll be able to look and see himself um, in the mirror. So Sam hung that one up very well, it's just because we were like nervous. It's right above his changing table. Over here, we just have some like dresser storage situation going on. I got these little acrylic bins per se from West Elm. I like them because they have this gold on the bottom. They came as a set, you can order them separately. But in here I just put lots of diapers. And then on this side I have some water wipes. I got these whoopsie wipes which were recommended to me. They're actually dry wipes but for little boys can be protective when you're taking their diapers off. And then in the back, some things like a little hairbrush, butt paste, some Aquaphor, Noodle and Boo lotion that smells so good, let me tell you. Um, some more lotion from Tubby Todd. So yeah, 
I don't know, this will probably all change when he gets here, but this is kind of how I'm displaying it right now. And then I figured I will just show you really briefly what's inside our dresser. I do you want to say that this dresser is also from West Elm, which actually comes as a matching set with his crib. So it's the same color scheme and everything. We love the dresser. I love it so much. We always say how his room is like the nicest room and has the nicest furniture. Um, so let me show you what's inside his drawers. I kind of tried to organize it the best I could. Got some drawer dividers from the container store. Okay, so in his top drawer, over here I have some hats, little beanies. Um, he has a matching beanie, but I packed it in his hospital bag, this little one from Slouch. Um, lots of hats and then some socks, some booties, mitts. Packed some in the hospital bag as well. Back here I have lots of little bibs. Super cute and soft. And then over here I just have some burp cloths. And then in this one, I have kind of like backup storage from this section. I do wanna say that I got these drawer dividers from the container store and they are adjustable to fit your drawer's length. So I really liked that about them. I got some of these little cubes off of Amazon just because I had these like binkies and pacifiers sitting in here. And I just felt like they needed to be in something. So I have some teethers. I got lots of different pacifiers to try out. Little Wubbanub under there is his name on his little pacifier clip. So I'm gonna leave that like that. Um, this is the phone charger I was talking about that attaches to our rocking chair and then back here we have like medicines and stuff like that nail clippers no sucker thermometer all the things in the middle i have some more diapers and then more wipes we are trying the water wipes and the honest company wipes and then another thing of little whoopsie wipes back here coming down to this drawer i kind of started to do it his clothes starting in the newborn, which is mostly only this section, honestly. I did not buy a whole bunch of newborn just because I feel like they grow so fast, but have a lot of cute newborn stuff. Lots of plain little onesies. Um, in here there's some gowns, which I'm so excited for him to wear. So cute. Um, and then lots of zipper and button onesies. So moving over into this section, it's uh, zero to three months, which I feel like I have most of his clothes are zero to three months. Got some joggers in here, more little onesies in the back, a couple sets. Nothing is folded perfectly as you can tell, just because I feel like I'm gonna be grabbing stuff and I feel like these dividers just work for me and work for Sam easily. This is also zero to three months. So some more onesies, little sets, and then these two are three to six months. Some of this stuff is even six to nine months. As you can see, we don't have a whole bunch of it. In this bottom drawer, I have some swaddle blankets. I packed two of them in the hospital bag. Um, I have a little halo sleep sack or swaddle, swaddle sack in here. Crib sheets, I love this one. I think I'll put this one on first. After he's here, it's like Half Moons from West Elm, Solly Baby crib sheet, Gumi Kids crib sheet, and then some blankets over here. Kind of the last part of his room, I guess, is his closet, which I'm standing right in front of. So I'll open it and show you kind of how I organized it. This is baby boy's closet. It's a pretty big closet, which is nice. We had this little white thing from our old apartment and we kind of just put it in the middle here. This little hamper is from the brand Pear. I think it's so cute. Back there is the original changing pad that goes on top of his dresser. So that's kind of just sitting there for now. On this side, we have a little chair by Fisher Price, which was gifted to us from our baby registry. Here's the other two acrylic shelves I was talking about earlier. In the middle, this little section just has some cubbies 
And I got these two little pom-pom bags from Pear as well. And here are his like little towels and washcloths. And then in here I have two of the Solly Baby wraps. And I put some random stuff in here. Kind of just tried to organize things the best way possible. Babies don't really have a bunch of stuff. So in this one, I just have some like pumps and breastfeeding parts. I have more of that stuff down in the kitchen. And then in this one, I have some baby books, um, little card games for him, his monthly milestones. Down here, I have a little play mat and then extra um, diaper pail bags. And then in this one is just random like manuals and stuff like that for things that we've had in his room. On top right now, I just have extra diapers ready to go. And then guys, he only has two pair of shoes right now. <laughs> he has these little like faux Converse from Amazon and his Nikes. I mean, how many shoes does a newborn need? He only has a couple of clothes hanging. I told you guys, he really doesn't have that many clothes right now. Um, but I got these hangers off of Amazon. I like them because they're velvet. And then they came with these little organizational pieces. So newborn, zero to three, three to six, and so on. Over here, we just have the Baby Bjorn carrier hanging. Love this and it's super comfortable. We both tried it already. Just in the top of his closet, I have some things for like postpartum. I have some more books for him that just aren't on his shelves right now. This is actually another diaper caddy that I have already kind of created that I think I'm gonna put downstairs in the living room. So that'll be great to have down there. Some extra cubby pieces from Amazon. This is for his stroller when he gets a little bit older. Two diaper bags. This one is from Hat Brand, which I am obsessed with. I feel like it's a little more girly. This was our like original diaper bag from Dagny Dover and it's so good. That is his closet. It's just a bunch of storage, but I think it's pretty organized in my opinion. I literally had to sit down because whew, I am so out of breath and it's not even that he is like high up in my stomach. I just feel like he's getting so much bigger and there's just like not enough room for my lungs to fully expand. I'm gonna insert a clip here and show you what we have in his bathroom. We just have his little like bathtub and then a little caddy of like his bath time things body wash. Again, I'm going to link everything in the description. So if you're looking for anything, hopefully I've linked it down below. I feel like some more of his things are downstairs. Like in the kitchen, we have all of his bottle storage. So I'll insert a clip here. I got this piece from Amazon where it's just kind of holding all of his bottles, lids. I also put a bunch of like breastfeeding pump parts in there. I did get a breast pump covered by my insurance, which was really nice. So I have a few pumps that I'll be trying out. I got the Motif Luna, Luna Motif. I forget which way it is, but that's the one I got through my insurance company. And then I'm trying out the handheld Medela pump because I've heard really good things about that. Um, I got the Haka for... Um, catching on the opposite side of, that you're breastfeeding. I also have the LV. So I'm going to try a bunch of different pumps. Hopefully one of them works. Hopefully I'm able to breastfeed. I keep praying that I'm able to. I did buy some formula just to have in case. I'll show you the one that I got here. It's called Bobby and it has really good reviews. Um, his stroller is put together. So feeling excited. I did just order a nightlight for his room. That's just going to plug into his wall right there. I got a little nightlight from Pottery Barn Kids. I'll put a picture of it here. It's a little moon. When he is born, we will have him in our room in the bassinet. So we got the halo bassinet. There's three models and I know we got the middle one. I want to say it's called the Essentia but I'm not 100% positive. Again, I'll link it down below. So have his bassinet set up in our room and then I'm also going to be bringing over the hatch sound machine. I think we're gonna use that 
in our room when he's born. I'm going to bring over the diaper pail to our room. And then I ordered this thing off of Amazon that's kind of like a foldable changing table. So I'll put a picture of it here. I'll link it down below. But I needed something in our bedroom where I could wake up in the middle of the night, change him if need be, feed him in our bed, put him back in the bassinet instead of leaving our room, going to his room, changing him, bringing him back. I just felt like that wasn't conducive for us because we close our door at night so that our cats don't come in our room. I haven't received that from Amazon yet. It's on its way. It's being delivered. Um, so hopefully we'll put that together as soon as possible and I can have that set up. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm typically on stories daily sharing baby things and just daily life. So make sure you follow me over there at Sammy Adams blog. I hope I went over everything with good detail. If you have any questions, just ask me down below. If you need any links, let me know. Be sure to subscribe so you see when new videos are posted. Mm -hmm.